Hi guys, this is Paige. I want to make this video about the Jezebel spirit and how if you're God's child, the Jezebel spirit will try to destroy you. Now Jezebel was, was a woman in the Bible. You can read about her in the Old Testament. She was a worshiper of Baal and she was married to King Ahab. And she basically tried to get God's people to worship Baal. She was a very wicked woman. And Elijah, who was one of God's prophets, had called down fire from heaven and showed God's people that God was God the true God, and, and then him and certain of God's people went and destroyed a lot of the prophets of Baal. And then when, when uh, Jezebel found this out, she wanted to kill Elijah. And sent message to him like she wanted to kill him. And he went and he, and he went and laid down under a tree and felt like he wanted to die. He was asked God to, to let him die. You see, the Jezebel spirit is works in people today. It was a woman, but it's also a spirit. Now, people get confused about what Jezebel really is spiritually what she is and they'll think okay if a woman's teaching or something she has a Jezebel no that's not what the Jezebel is it says in the Bible women can teach other women the Jezebel spirit how to spot a Jezebel spirit it's basically now we all, all of, all people have demons. Christians have demons. I know some people d disagree on that. But that's what I believe. And I believe it's true. But someone that has a Jezebel spirit in control of them is what I'm saying. How do you spot that? This is how they will behave if they have it in control of them. They will do incredibly wicked things to you without any remorse of what they did and they won't care about you really. That's a Jezebel spirit in control of a person. The Jezebel. Or what people will call it in the world is a narcissist. A narcissist is someone who lacks empathy. They don't really feel compassion for people. They just are very cold and can do wicked to people and have no remorse. That's a Jezebel spirit in control of a person. If you're God's child, the Jezebel spirit will come after you to try to destroy you. It will be people treating you like dirt and hurting you and without any remorse or care about you. And they'll make you feel like you want to die. You see, that's what's happened to me with people that I've talked about who are not repentant. It's a Jezebel spirit in control of them. You see, the Jezebel spirit also blinds people after they did evil. It blinds them that it's okay what they did. That's what God showed me. You see... Some people will, will make this kind of like a witch hunt, like this person's a Jezebel and that person's a Jezebel. I literally used to fellowship with a woman and people would go around trying to say she's a Jezebel. 
I'm not talking about that woman. She's not a Jezebel. <laughs> what I just said is a Jezebel. I know that woman cares about me. She's not like that. It's like extreme wickedness in people who just have no remorse. It's like there's something wrong with them. And then they, they won't care about you, whether you live or die. That's a Jezebel spirit. You know, there's this brother, and, and he has this channel. I forget what it is. I'm not sure if he watches me anymore. I don't know. But it's a lot about the Jezebel spirit, something. He'll talk a lot about it. I guess that's his calling. And he, I talked to him and he said, he was like, oh, I watched one of your videos. You have, he said something like I had an anointing to teach or I was like led, to, I was like a teacher. And he's like, watch out for the Jezebel spirit. This is going to try to destroy you. And he was right. It's a Jezebel. If you're God's child, you're a prophet. You're an oracle of God. It's like he speaks out of your mouth according to your calling. But all God's children are like prophets. And the Jezebel, what does it want to do? It wants to destroy God's prophets. That's what it tried to do through people who claim to be Christians. Tried to destroy me. Now, could a born-again Christian have this thing in control of them? Possibly, yeah. I believe it can happen because if they start doing a lot of evil things and they're not sorry and they keep doing it, they could get blinded when that happens. This is what's happened to me. This is why people have come against me, treated me so wickedly, without remorse and could care less about me whether I lived or died now there's some people who have hurt me and done some wrong things to me and I'm not really it's like minor things you know it's not as bad but some people have done such wicked things to me without remorse that's the Jezebel spirit trying to destroy me that's why I don't really, I mean, I don't fellowship with that many people. I don't really have that many friends. God could, protects me from this thing. Not saying everyone has it or something, but he wants to protect me from this thing. That's how you spot it. If, if someone's in your life and they're doing wicked to you without any remorse and it's insane... And they don't really care about you. That's a Jezebel spirit. Trying to destroy you. You better get away from them. That's what's happened to me. Because I'd tell God. I'd be like. How can these people look at themselves in the mirror. After what they did to me. And they're not sorry. And God's like Jezebel spirit. Jezebel spirit. It blinds them. I mean, it's still on them, but if you're God's child, this thing's going to try to come after you through people. Be aware of it and guard your heart. And people who are doing this, if you can, just get away from them. Because this thing is real. It wants to destroy you. There's people, what they did to me, I remember I was at work. I was like, I want to die now. I never got true apologies from these people. They're not truly sorry. If they were right with God, they would be crying to me over what they've done. I could never do what they did to me. Ever. It's a Jezebel trying to destroy me through people. After I was so nice and loving to them. Not that I'm perfect, but it's a Jezebel. 
God showed me this thing in a dream once. I believe it can take different forms. It's kind of like a spider with spider webs. Jezebel. Now people can have shades of this, but I'm talking about people who are like, it's in control of them. And, but okay, and he also showed me in my dream, it was like this little green demon. And it was wearing red lipstick. Now I'm not saying women can't wear red lipstick. I'm just, that's fine. But I'm just saying what it looked like. It's kind of like that movie, you know, Gremlins. Have you ever seen that movie, Gremlins? That's what it looks like. And in the dream, someone was like, get away from it. It wants to eat our eyelids. It causes blindness and it was really wicked and fast, like really just cold and wicked. That's what it's like. That's God let me see it. I think this thing is real. It's totally against the fruit of the spirit, which is love and God's very compassionate and caring. And people of God will feel conviction for their sins or doing evil to others. Pure wickedness. You'll be shocked at the things people could do to you without any remorse or even knowing it's wrong. It's like there's something wrong with them. It's a Jezebel. Now the person's heart is wrong. That's why the thing's in control. But beware of this thing. It'll try to destroy you if you're God's child. It's tried with me. I'll tell you. It's creepy, creepy, just creeps me out. Jezebel will try to destroy the prophets. And it'll make you feel like you want to die. That's how you know it's the Jezebel. And there will be no remorse or caring about you as a person. Get get those people out of your life. All right, I love you guys. Bye.